How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today, I'm gonna to talk about calculating your net worth growth rate. I've made a previous video on how to calculate your net worth. You basically add up everything that you have, everything of any value, including real estate, stocks, bonds, crypto, everything, add it up all together and that's your net worth. But with this number, it's often quite complicated. You might have a final net worth number, but sometimes it's more intuitive to sort of know your compounded annual growth rate. How much are you increasing your net worth every single year over a course of your entire net worth tracking time. Let's say your net worth is 1 million and your annual growth rate is 10%. You can easily figure out, oh, next year, your net worth is gonna be 1.1 million, or at least it's supposed to be going at the same trajectory. It kind of condenses everything down, how good you are at saving, how good you are at credit card churning, investing in real estate, investing in crypto, stocks, you know, just, Everything, everything that you're doing is going to end up affecting your bottom line, which is your net worth. And in essence, it's a way of tracking your financial acumen. If you already built your net worth spreadsheet with one of my Excel calculators, or you're tracking it on some app or something, here is a formula on how to calculate your compounded annual growth rate. You take your final net worth number, which is, you know, let's say right now, what's your net worth divided by when you started your net worth and then you raise it to the power of one over the number of years at which you accumulated and then you'll get a number there minus one times 100 and this is the compounded annual growth rate percentage and it's likely going to vary anywhere between five and let's say 20 percent or so i often like to take this number and check to see if it's correct so you take your starting net worth times one plus compounded annual growth rate divided by 100 to get back to a decimal thing. And then you raise it to the number of years at which you're compounded. And when you calculate all this, you're going to get your final net worth number. If it's incorrect, you might have done some incorrect calculations before. This does not work very well if you're starting off with a low net worth number. For example, you just finish school, you have a net worth of hopefully positive $1,000 or something. And then let's say you start your job and then all of a sudden you earn $10,000. You put it in the bank. You're like, oh, look at that. My net worth increased by 10X. This is essentially 10,000 percent. Well, it does not work very well if you're starting off with really, really small numbers because your salary is very easy to double that number. So I consider anything small anywhere between $0 and 50K. It's more realistic to have a starting net worth of around one times your annual salary or more. Personally, I started tracking somewhere around two times my annual salary. To give you an idea of what's a good growth rate versus a bad one, if you just invested in the S&P 500, just put your entire net worth in, on average, you're gonna see about a 10% net worth gain every single year. That's how much it grows on average over a long period of time. But most people are not so crazy where they plow everything in a stock market index fund. You still need some money to live on, like own a home, own a car, right? Some of that asset is in real assets. Sometimes you might wanna have you know, other kind of assets like crypto. A conservative growth is four to six percent. A typical demographic for this is a middle class salary earner retirees with moderate investment portfolios you have a stable income limited investment risk this is very important and a steady saving so in this net worth gain range you're basically a salary worker you're not really focused on investing there's not much money to invest so most of your net worth increase comes from your salary, which is not very good of course when you just start a job it's going to be like that so you got to morph yourself have more of an investment thinking mind and you're like, okay, I'm gonna take a lot of my savings and put it into investment and then eventually you can grow to the next tier. The next tier is established wealth builders, eight to 12% compounded annual growth rate. So every single year, year after year, eight to 12% increase in your net worth. This is very, very nice. You can almost just not work 
if this is the case, if you have a significant net worth. Typical demographic of this is a high income professional entrepreneurs experienced investor. You have a strong income growth as an engineer. I just keep on jumping from job to job. Sometimes I might get a 25% increase. You can have very strategic investments smart wealth management net worth growth is driven by strategic business decisions and then the third tier which is ultra high net worth individual 15 to 20 percent compounded annual growth rate successful entrepreneurs very successful and top investors characteristics are exceptional business acumen what does that mean when you're buying a business you know when you're buying low when you buy into some kind of asset you just kind of know you're getting a good deal so you have to be able to spot what is good and then you buy so much of it when you spot those things. And I typically feel like those kind of opportunities doesn't come very often, maybe one or two per year. Strategic risk taking, which means that you are not completely adverse to risk. So I like to look at these risk taking endeavors as um, lopsided. You have more potential upside than potential downsides versus, you know, there's a high chance that it's going to go down versus a small chance that it's going to go up and access to exclusive investment opportunities. This is a very interesting little tidbit there, because when you reach a certain tier, I know very well that you need to have at least a really, really large amount in order to access private equity. Or if you have enough assets, you somehow get into these exclusive investment clubs people that are looking for money investment opportunities are not going to want like chump change you know they don't want like just a hundred thousand dollars is that all that you have right then they have to do so much work just to get a hundred thousand dollar here hundred thousand dollar there you know in order to get their millions in order to invest in their business so if you have above a certain tier then all these doors open up net worth growth is driven by innovative business ventures so this is just all from your brain high return on investment strategic partnerships so all of these are like business making type of stuff so what is warren buffett's compounded annual growth rate. In 1960, his net worth was $450,000. Today in 2025 is 163 billion. This is a compounded annual growth rate of 21.7%. Year after year for 65 years, he has increased his net worth by 21.7% every single year on average. In his 30s and 40s, even if his compounded annual growth rate is 20 some percent. I mean, it's not in the billions yet. It's that he's doing this consistently for huge amounts of time, 65 years. I think my net worth spreadsheet is only 15 years. Remember, this is different than Berkshire Hathaway stock, which is, you know, somewhat closely tied together, but their stock has increased 20% compounded annual growth rate since 1965. The last five years, it's only increased by 14%. And I personally believe it's because they've hit a rule of large numbers. Warren Buffett even says that there's no good investment opportunities at the scale that he's looking for. You know, he's like trying to invest $10 billion somewhere. How many investment opportunities are that big? there just isn't enough. So he's hit some kind of ceiling where it's really, really hard to make those kind of gains at that scale. So if you are just going, you know, the first 40, 50 years or so, and you're still increasing at 20%, then you can go, hey, your rate at least is somewhat comparable to Warren Buffett's. How do you get over 20% compounded annual growth rate? It sounds awesome, right? You need consistent investment returns over a long period. So you're not just, you know, just one or two years, the stock market happens to be doing really well, just like the last two years or so. And then you say, Hey, I am Warren Buffett now. No, it needs to be over a longer period than that, at least 10 years or so. You can add to this with real estate gains, business profits. If you own a business, you can make a lot of great decisions that increases the business. You can have asset gains. You buy some painting and it increases in tenfold or crypto or gold. Or if you make a salary, you have a really high savings rate. You're not spending most of it. So you're a really good saver. Or it can come in the form of significant income growth. Maybe you are working at one job. You go get 
a MBA or something and suddenly you double your salary or maybe you switch jobs, you increase your salary by 25%. You have to make these really, really smart moves that just gives you leaps and bounds, just a large step one at a time, one after another. A lot of you have asking me for my net worth update. Giving very specific numbers about my personal net worth has become a significant risk for me personally. So I cannot directly just spell out everything. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I do want to wrap this up by saying that as you increase your net worth 20% every single year, you cannot do the same thing every single year. Like when you're going from 100K to 1 million, you might be in your working at a job phase, your wealth accumulating, and you just go into your job, do the same thing, and then you can make your 20% gain that way. But as you keep on working, you'll find that your rate decreases because your net worth is increasing, but then the income that you're making from your job has hit a ceiling. So that means you have to do something different. You always have to do something new at every juncture from zero to 1 million, 1 million to 2 million, 2 to 5 million. The skills to get this rate of increase at every phase is very different. So this means that as you increase your net worth, you actually have to learn a lot. You have to change the way you do things. Thanks for watching this video. Go calculate your compounded annual growth rate for your net worth. If you are willing to share, leave a comment down in the video description below and let me know how many percent you're increasing your net worth by every single year. Remember to start off with at least 50 to 100K. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.